So let's say that you have an animation with a lot of keyframes just like this. So I'm going to take an example of this cube right here. I'm going to turn on the automatic keyframe right over here. So I'm going to move this to the right and then to the red. All right, so now let me add in a bunch of small keyframes right here to just to make it look more detailed. So I'm going to add a keyframe here, add in a keyframe over there, small keyframe over here, and just like that, I'm just going to change out the keyframe right over here from the side as well. So I'm going to go around here, change the keyframe, uh, go around here, change the keyframe, change the keyframe, and I can see that you got a lot of keyframes right here. So once there's a lot of keyframes, your animation might be a bit jittery. So if I were to play this around, this will start to be more jittery as you can see. So now, as, as I add in the keyframes, let me just go back and let's press play, now press the play button. And you can see that the animation is jittery. And this might be something you want sometimes, but sometimes you may want to smoothen the motion out and remove some of the extra keyframes right over here. So once you add in more keyframes, the animation is more jittery. So in order to make it smooth, you'll have to uh, reduce uh, the keyframes. So you have to reduce the keyframes. And to do that, I'm going to go on to the object right over here. I'm going to right click, and then I'm going to go on to the uh, show F curve. So I'm going to click on show F curve right over here, and you'll be able to see all of the keyframes just like this. And in order to apply a smooth motion to all of it, I'm going to press Ctrl A and all of them will be selected just like this. And once all of them is selected, what I want to do is I want to go to functions right over here and then I'm going to click on key reducer. So once I click on it, you get a tool right over here. You can see that there's a lot of keyframe right there. But as I increase the value right here, you can see that just a bit, 1% right there. So if I were to click and drag and you can see that the re reduction actually increases and it becomes more smoother right over here, just like this. Control, press Ctrl Z to actually get back. So I'm going to press Ctrl Z. You can see that you can get the smoothness back. And if I were to increase the smoothness right here, it'll increase, it'll make it smooth over here as well. So I'm going to go over here onto Key Reducer. If I were to increase this out, you can see it is much more smoother right here. So if I were to play out this, you can see that you got a much more smoother animation than before. So let me increase that, this out a bit again, just like this, and it is much more smoother now. So it is much more smoother, just like that, as you can see. So you increase it way past, it makes it, everything is smoother, as you can see. So you got this type of an animation. But if you were to smooth it really uh, at a high level, you might lose the original motion, so you want to keep it low. So you'd want to actually use just the right bit of amount right here. Uh, for example, in this animation, we have lost the uh, original movement. So I'm just going to close this, press Ctrl Z, and I'm going to go over here uh, onto the function again, and then I'm going to go over here onto the key reducer again and increase this just bit so that it retains the original motion. And once you do that, you can see the motion has been retained. So let me just close it. And if I were to play this out right here, you can see that the motion is retained, but it is much more smoother. So that is how you can use the key reducer to make uh, to make everything smoother inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.